What is up everybody? It's your boy Jim and I am back again with something I have actually been trying to do for a while. You guys seem to really enjoy the Pokemon tier list we do. You love it when I talk about event mythicals. And now we are going to be putting the two together and using a tier list to talk about how rare every shiny mythical is. So um, we're using a legendary tier list. It's uh, We're only going to use the mythicals because there is no shiny mythical tier list that I can find weirdly enough. So we're just going to be picking out the mythicals in here. A few things before I start this video. I am trying some new things out. We do have the green screen. I know it's not perfect. My lighting really does suck. But I was looking at the face cam and I was like, dude, my light in my room is like a sun. So I need to try to kind of get rid of that. And we're, we're putting our work in for that. So it kind of blocks it a little bit while also utilizing the light. Um, we're also, I'm also using a different headphone. So... I've been doing a lot of tests with the audio. It's a little bit stronger, so I had to lower it a little bit. So um, I've already I've done some testing, but hopefully the video sounds good. And now on to the actual tier list itself. So again, this is going to be a video talking about how rare every mythical is. So if you were to wake up one day and you're like, hey, I want to get a shiny Jirachi. How easy would it be for you to obtain it? Are you, can you get the resources? How easy would it be to get a legitimate one in a trade? You know, what are the odds you can find someone who has a legitimate one? Questions like that. We're going to be going over all the methods you can use for every mythical in here. Um, a few things, um, we have the tier list right here. We have near impossible, so mythicals you're probably not going to get. Incredibly rare, so ones that are going to be pretty hard to get. You have the kind of little under middle ground, decent work to obtain, so it's probably not going to be that hard. You should be able to knock it out with resources you probably already own. And then very easy, so very easy. Yeah, you're not going to have any trouble getting this mythical. I guarantee you could probably find it. And then shiny locked, all the impossible, because a lot of mythicals are impossible to get shiny. So we are going to be ranking these, like I said, off of how easy something is to obtain, how often has a mythical been released, how, you know, frequent is out there, you know, is there glitches you can easily obtain. We are counting glitches and RNG manipulation as legit here. Um, we're going to be counting DNS too, but DNS realistically won't get you very far for much of these. Um, the only reason I'm counting DNS, because I know it is a very iffy one, is because DNS is pretty accessible to people. If you have a 3DS or a DS, you can get it, and it's on the very borderline because the, the mythicals you get from it, the events, are literally just carbon copies down to the point because it literally goes through mystery gifts. So we're counting RNG, DNS, and glitches. I'm not going to be counting just power saves or PK hacks or things like that. You know, Game Shark actually replays all those things. Um, straight up hacking like that, no. But um, those are realms for legit. You don't have to agree. I'm not asking you to. But for the purpose of this video, it's what we're going to be using because I know a lot of people use those materials. So let's start out with the first one. So the first mythical ever released is Mew. Now, if you went back to Generation 6, a shiny Mew would have been closer to incredibly rare, high, low, near impossible. The reason being, at that time, the only way to get shiny Mew in the games. We're also, I also want to point this out there because I know people will talk about it. Yes, there are weird ways you can take an original red, blue, gold, silver crystal and get it on. We're not counting that for this video because A, um, you know, it's not supposed to really be done. So it's it's a very complicated method and it's very stretched like, you know, there's ways to do it, but we're only going to count the virtual console. Again, you guys don't have to agree with how I'm laying out the rules for what I'm setting for this, but it's just what we're going to be using. So I know people are going to mention it. You can do that, but we're not going to really be utilizing it. Only the virtual console. So yeah, as for Mew, in Generation 6, the only way to realistically get it was from the faraway island. Now, this is at a time period where we didn't know a lot about RNG. We didn't really know much about Ace. So it was not really that obtainable. I mean, you kind of had to settle with either a cloned or a just hacked one that was a mock copy. Um, you know, at the time too, shiny hack checks weren't very prevalent. So you could just hack the GF Mew and throw it on the Wonder Trade. So, you know, it wasn't really that obtainable, but... We are not in Generation 6, and I say Generation 6 because after Generation 6, Shiny Mew took a huge jump in the um, accessibility that the Virtual Console came out and we could use the 8F glitch to get a Shiny Mew from that and transfer it up. Pokemon Go released Shiny Mew so anyone can get Shiny Mew from there. And Emerald became more, we became more knowledgeable on the, I'm gonna move the mic a little bit. We became more knowledgeable on the um, RNG, the glitches, stuff like that. So now anyone who owns an emerald can realistically get Mew. The downside to that and the contrary is that emerald is a very expensive game. It's over 200 plus dollars. A Japanese one you could probably get a lot cheaper. 
still kind of pricey for a Japanese um, Game Boy cart. So, you know, or just a Japanese game in general. So, you know, Mew is still pretty rare. It's not near on the near impossible scale that I would have put it back in Gen 6. But I would put it somewhere in Incredibly Rare. We're also going to be tiering these, um, you know, higher up in Incredibly Rare. The more rare it is, the one back here. Kind of like that. So yeah, those are kind of all the ways to get Mew. Um, Virtual Console also has the Gold Silver Crystal glitching. So you can get a New York one or just a 8F regular event one, GF, from um, Gold Silver Crystal. So there's a few ways to go about it. Some of those methods are shut down, which is another reason I'm keeping Mew in Incredibly Rare. That, you know, the Go research isn't there anymore so you can't get it and probably nobody's ever going to trade you a legit go shiny mew because they were they actually literally paid for that so probably still going to be cloned um you know the um the virtual console you can't actually get anymore if at a homebrewed 3ds and emeralds 200 plus dollars so in most cases so you know shiny mew just isn't that accessible anymore it's still out there you know it had its splurge and now it's out there on the market but they're not really it's not really a lot of it so Incredibly rare is where I'm keeping shiny Mew. So now we have our shiny Celebi. Now Celebi is a fun one because like Mew, it used to actually be impossible. It was actually shiny locked at one point. You could get it in the original um, gold, silver, crystal, but again, wasn't able to transfer up to gen three. So the first shiny Celebi actually became available in um, Sun and Moon with the virtual console coming out, Sun and Moon Era, I should say the gold silver crystal virtual console and you could actually hunt shiny mew in crystal and then from there if you glitched one in gold silver that you know matched the legality check that could transfer up too we also had the jungle events in sword shield which were another great way to get um celebi and then pokemon go special research so i would say me celebi is actually up there on the rarity scale the one thing i will say that gives celebi a little bit more common a little bit more commonness is a um, the game it's currently accessible in so shiny Mew and Emerald versus shiny huntable Celebi is um, I feel like people hunt Celebi a lot easier but again with glitches Mew and Celebi are on the even scale um, Pokemon Go they're on the even scale because you can't really get Celebi or Mew anymore from that um, Celebi was only released once to my knowledge it may have been released twice I don't know I know Mew was released twice but I only started playing Pokemon Go in October so um, I don't actually know for sure if Celebi is released twice. I know if it's released once, but the jungle event is what really puts it into a common scale. That the big difference between Mew and Celebi is Celebi has or Mew has never been dead set released as a shiny, free accessible to everyone, whereas Celebi has. And I feel like for that work, um, even if you wanted to trade for one, you'd still have to find someone. So I would put it in the incredibly rare. Um, another thing that kind of sets Celebi away from Mew is you can't actually get one in generation three and send it up that you can glitch one but it won't transfer so you know i'm gonna put celebi a little bit behind because i feel like with the events it's had and the virtual console actually directly giving you a hunt tool one it's a little bit easier to obtain now jirachi is a unfortunate one i know jirachi is a lot of people's favorite mythical but jirachi i have to put not even in incredibly rare and i have to think about it. now jirachi a fun one you had the wish maker Wishmaker Shiny Jirachi is a thing, and not only that, but if you look at the um, Cerebi and you go to the Jirachi Ventex, it's had a ton of Shiny events. It's actually been released more as a Shiny than any other mythical Pokemon. So Shiny Jirachi is not that rare. It was also in Go, but um, if you've looked at the um, the research for that, it is horrendous. I'm sorry, saying I'm a lot I'm trying to work on that. If you look at it, the research is horrendous, but it's still there. But the events from X and Y are really what make me put Jirachi in very easy. That if you wanted to trade for a Jirachi that passed every legality check, you very easily could. It's unfortunate because I love shiny Jirachi, but it's just not hard to obtain. It's pretty easy. Wishmaker, you can RNG for it. You have to have the Kazam bonus disc, which is not going to be a easy to obtain but i mean so then you could ace to match the event but then it's just been released too many times go look at Cerebi's uh mythical decks event decks it's insane it's been released too much in my opinion so now we're getting on to deoxys deoxys is kind of like mew and celebi where it's not really out there right now but you can obtain it pretty easily that again 
Emerald was the first event or the first release where Deoxys was actually obtainable. You know, you could you can now RNG and ace for it, but again, Emerald is very expensive unless you want a Japanese copy in which most people are going to struggle to play through. I know I did when I first did, so I know for that reason a lot of people don't even buy one from those I've talked to. So, but then there's also Pokemon Go that Deoxys has been released in Pokemon Go, and unlike Mew and Celebi, it was released in raids, so you know, it's not crazy hard to obtain from that. That with all those being said, that's that honestly makes it a lot more common than Celebi, I feel, because people were to get able to get multiple. That you maybe got two or three Celebi, maybe you had an extra copy of Sword Shield, used your Nintendo account IDs to get multiple. Deoxys is out there. So I feel like Deoxys is in the decent work to obtain. It's not easy like Jirachi, but it's not really incredibly rare. Now, one thing I do want to note is that um, Deoxys, the hack check is very hating towards Deoxys, that it definitely flags it a lot. So if you get one in a trade, you know, go ones are out there, like I said. I feel like it's in the high decent work to obtain that I can't really say in my heart that Deoxys is incredibly rare. If you want a specific one, like you want an Emerald Origin one, that's incredibly rare but we're not talking about that we're just talking about the mythical in general so i'm not really going to put all the forms in there that's irrelevant but that is all for kanto through hoenn so now we get on to the uh the sino region now sino is going to be a little bit more fun very more diverse now fione the first one in the decks for the mythicals that should be very apparent it's very easy you guys can get a shiny fione i actually just got one on my live stream um, I think last week. It's not hard. Now, what a lot of people apparently don't know is how you actually get shiny Fiona. You just breed a Mana Fee or a Fiona. Um, Fiona's should be able to breed down. I'm 99% positive with that. Unless I'm wrong, can someone tell me in the comments? But I'm pretty sure I've done it. So, um, and Mana Fee, normal Mana Fee itself is not a hard mythical to get. Um, there's been so many events. If you have the DNS, you can get it from there. Um, it had the egg and BDSP. So, you could probably get someone to trade you a Fiona. You know, it's it's out there. It's breedable. It's the most easy mythical to get, both normal and shiny. Now, on the contrary, uh, Mana Fee is actually in the near impossible range, and you guys probably knew this was coming. It is the most rare mythical out there as a shiny. Um, for those of you guys who are unaware of why I'm actually talking about this, the only way you could get sh a shiny Mana Fee was if you had a Pokemon Ranger from like 2000, I think seven, eight, or you know, late 2000s, kind of there, um, you got an egg. And that egg had a chance to be shiny if you got that egg in a game and you traded it to another egg, or another game. So if you got it in platinum and you traded it to hard gold, it would then have a chance to be shiny. If you didn't trade it, the origin game, it is shiny locked. So for most people, they probably just hatched it in the game or excited to get a Mana Fee at the time. It's also only one per Ranger game. Not one per Ranger save, one per Ranger game. So if you were to want to hunt the Mana Fee, you would have to get a copy of Pokemon Ranger. Um, one with the Mana Fee not already taken. You have to get it on one of your games. You have to have at least two copies of Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart, Gold, Silver, two DSs. And every time you hatch that thing in a new game, and it's not shiny, you reset with the egg on your save and trade it to another. And you keep doing this until eventually that egg just has no more, um, you know, no more steps. I guess you kind of work around that by saving at the Pokemon Center right before or something and then just keep sending it to a new game. But it's just, it's near impossible. Almost nobody has this mana fee. Um, there's a few YouTubers out there who were able to do it, but most people would not be able to put in the time and effort. There's also no, you know, authentic way to clone. So it's not like someone could get the shiny mana fee and clone it, and most people wouldn't want to do that anyway. So I guarantee you, nobody's trading you a shiny mana fee. If someone went through that work, it's not, they're not going to trade it. They would never do that. So, you know, people can argue it, oh, well, it's possible. I'm telling you, it's not going to happen. <laughs> So Vanna is near impossible. Um, you can get it. Trade, you're not going to. But yeah, Mana Fee is up there. It's it's just a crazy mythical to get. So now we move on to Darkrai. You know, Darkrai. 
Darkrai I'm gonna put behind Deoxys and e decent work to obtain. What's funny is that you can actually get Darkrai right now as I'm filming this video. It's actually available in Pokemon Go Raids um, till the 20th. So at the time he filmed this, you can actually get a Darkrai. Um, Darkrai has been pretty accessible in Pokemon Go. Um, you can hunt it in, and another thing too about Darkrai is that you can, you can hunt it in BDSP and if you haven't, you know, it has a void glitch and you know what also has a void glitch? The original diamond pearl and I think platinum. So, you know, Darkrai, you can get it with a cheap $30 copy of Pokemon Diamond. I mean, Diamond is probably one of the cheapest Pokemon games that are out there right now. And you can just void glitch to get it. Like, almost anybody can get this mythical. Now, the reason I put it in decent work is because you still got to get there. And you still got to hunt it in um, either Diamond and Pearl with 1 in 8,000 odds. Or, or Platinum. Or you can hunt it with BDSP with 1 in, you know, 4,000 odds. It's still hard to get, you know. Pokemon Go, you still got to pay for the raid tickets and... You know, the raid passes in, you know, 1 in 20 for a limited time every now and then. Still not incredible, but it's there. It's decent work. It's literally the definition of decent work. It's not going to be hard to get, but it's going to be tedious. You got to put in some effort, <laughs> literally. But it's behind Deoxys because it is released more often and it's literally available right now. I'm not going to say it's very easy, but it's available right now. You guys could get it if you really wanted. And Shaman is also kind of there as well. Um, Shaman should be released in Pokemon Go pretty soon as a shiny. So it's up there. Kind of same with the um kind of the same with everything else. So I'm gonna put it in decent work to obtain because again, it's not really rare rare. It's decent work. You know, you gotta you gotta get a cheap copy of Diamond or Pearl, you know, both very cheap games. Um do the Void Glitch, accessible through every single one, no patches or anything, and boom, you have a Shiny Shaman, so it's really cool. Um, Pokemon Go, it's going to be a research here soon, so it's decent work, you know, literally, these mons are the definition of it's decent work to obtain, so that's where I'm going to put them. And now we move on to Arceus. Arceus is a weird one because it can also match that decent work to obtain but at the same time it's also pretty dang rare um i would say it's not on the rarity of view in celebi for those of you who don't know how to get um shiny arceus um there's a there's two ways um you could either get one from an event in 2016 i think it, no it was 2015 um, when the hoopa movie came out in japan you would get a code for an arceus and there were 16 different arceuses with 16 different plates and you had like a 1 in 16, 1 in 18 chance of that Arceus being shiny. So really cool that they did that. That was Arceus' first ever authentic release. Then you have the Azure Flute in BDSP, which you get by completing the Pokedex in PLA. So, you know, while Arceus is pretty dang rare on its own regard, it's not really up there as incredibly rare anymore that, you know, it's it's work i mean pla is a game that's out right now you can go to any store and buy it you can buy it used for probably 40 bucks but you got to complete the decks and then you're not even given the arceus you still have to hunt it in bdsp on one in four thousand odds so for that reason the fact that it is four thousand and you know puns can go over odds like you know you can go double ten thousand I'm going to put it at the bottom of incredibly rare because it's a little more than decent work in my opinion. That Darkrai and Shaman, you know, pretty easy to get if you got the tickets of the Void Glitch. Um, 1 in 8,000 is still there, but the game is moderately cheap. It actually costs less than, you know, whatever. And even if you're getting one on a trade, people probably aren't going to trade you Arceus. So, you know, Pokemon Go puts these a little bit more common too. So, I'm going to put it at the bottom of incredibly rare. I don't think Arceus is as rare necessarily as Mew or Celebi. Um, actually, I would maybe think it's a little more, actually, just because it's only one method. It's a modern method. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think it's a fair marking, only because the games you can get Mew or Celebi in are either A, unobtainable, or B, $200, whereas Legends Arceus is pretty easy. So, I'm going to put it there. Um, you guys can let me know your opinion, because I think Arceus could be moved around if these three. Let me know what you guys think. This is a, you know, this is an open opinion video. And now we're going to get into the first shiny lock. Now, you guys always ask me about shiny locks. So this is the video to watch for that, because um, you guys will sometimes be like, can you hunt shiny Victini, or can you give away shiny Victini? And this is going to be the video where I tell you I can't. 
because Victini is actually shiny lock. There's no way to obtain it. Um, there's never been an official event, not released in Pokemon Go. Hopefully one day we'll be fingers crossed, but um, Liberty Island was shiny lock, and that's going to be the trend with a lot of the shinies coming up, our uh, mythicals coming up. Not every single one. Kelio, shiny lock, never been released as a shiny. Meloetta, shiny lock, and Genesect, not shiny locked. Now, Genesect is an interesting one because Genesect, once again, has been released in Pokemon Go. It's out there. One in 20 odds with the, you know, so. But it's also only ever been released in one event. Now, that event was the movie. It was movie 16, uh, Genesect and the Legend Awaken. And it was in Japan and Korea. So, you know, it's it's very minuscule out there. You actually can't get it with DNS. Um, another thing I want to note about Shaman and Darkrai is that you can get the tickets with the DNS. So you don't even have to do the Void Glitch. Um, Arceus, we're not counting the original Azure Flute. You can't get it without... Eh, you can't transfer it. So I guess it's actually irrelevant. I was going to say, eh, you know, you could, I guess, do the DNS because I think it's on there. But you can't even transfer it, so it doesn't matter. Uh -huh. Genesect's a fun one because Genesect has been released a decent bit but you know it's also not it's not really decent work you have to trade for it you have to you know you can't really just get one right now you have to wait um, and the events were old so I would say Genesect is on the basis of I would say it's between high decent work and low incredibly rare the reason being, I feel like you could find someone who caught like a dozen and go and trade it to you. So for that, I'm going to say it's decent work, but it's like up there in decent work. The reason it's more common than Deoxys is because you could actually just right now, you know, buy a copy of Emerald and get it. Whereas Genesect, you kind of have to trade for if you don't have one already. So, you know, I would actually I would say because trading isn't really decent work. It's just going out and asking. So I'm going to put it at the bottom of incredibly rare. I feel like for decent work, you have to be able to put in some effort that isn't just trading. And then incredibly rare, it's weight or good luck. I feel like that's a fair tiering. So and the Mew or Celebi are just very hard to get. So, you know, I would say on that scale. Um, yeah, that's the thing with that. And we'll do some later explanations because I know Mew you could technically put in decent work, but again Mew is just a very rare pokemon it's a very rare popular shiny people aren't really out there trading and deoxys is you know just raid and go whereas Mew and celebi are tickets so there's reasons for this but you guys can obviously throw your opinions um now for the kalos mythicals deoncy definitely incredibly rare in fact deoncy i would probably put comfortably in the middle the reason for that being is deoncy has only ever released once as a shiny and it was in an event, I think in Japan or Korea. I think Korea for sure, Japan I'm not sure. But um, it was released once. Never again, it's not in Pokemon Go. Uh, Shiny Deoncy isn't in Pokemon Go. Um, there's no way to obtain it right now. So Deoncy is in the incredibly rare section and a reason it's above Deoxys is, or Arceus and Genesect, not released in Pokemon Go, um, only one time. And the reason it's behind Mew and Celebi Ooh, actually, I would say De no. Deoncy should be above. Deoncy should definitely be above them because um, Deoncy was only once. Deoncy was a one-time release, and that is it. So definitely above. Um, I had to think about that. I was like, wait a minute. No, 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 no. These guys are out there. Deoncy, incredibly rare. So um, yeah, Deoncy's up there. Now Hoopa and Volcanion, Shiny Lock. They're not. You can't obtain them legitimately in any way, shape, or form. Um, now we get to the Alola region. Now, again, we've got um, we got Vigernia, Marshadow, and Zeraora, and the Meltans, I guess. Um, you know, both Vigernias are shiny lock. We'll put both of them in there. Um, now, funnily enough, Vigernia has actually been, um, shiny Vigernia has been in the anime, which to my knowledge makes it the only shiny locked mythical that has ever been in the anime one that's currently shiny locked of course celebi was at one point but it's not anymore so i think that's the only shiny mythical that's ever been in the anime that's shiny locks that's kind of cool um go check out um lily's magernia and you'll know what i'm talking about if you didn't know look it up it is shiny but um so yeah we those are all shiny locked Marshadow, 
shiny locked even though we don't really care about it i mean look at that would you even know that's a shiny you wouldn't because it's only noticeable when it's um in battle but now we have zara aura now zara aura is in the incredibly rare section now the reason for this being we need to decide where we want to put it but the reason for this being it is it was released in pokemon home only once but it was a recent event which kind of you know i feel like puts it at the bottom of the barrel and incredibly rare you know i feel like for the with the right person you could find one in a trade who just didn't care about it or you know whatever reason but it's definitely up there um you know it's a it's a little more recent so i would probably put it i would put it probably in the middle right here Arceus, you could still do the PLA work, and Genesect is still there from the event and Go. But Zero Aura is one time. It hasn't been released in Go yet, nothing like that. So Zero Aura, I would put an incredibly rare. It's just a little too recent for me to say, you know, if you were to ask for a shiny Mew in a trade, you'd probably have a little bit better luck. You can also detect Zero Aura. So, you know, you can actually know if one's legit for a fact. If it has the home stamp, you can't generate in home. So... You know, you could really put in the work and of patience, you'd get it. So, you know, I'd put it right there. But it being a one-time event puts it in the middle. And that's it for Alola, except for Meowten and Melmau. These are always hard to put. They're only released once a year. They're only released once a year. And that makes it tricky, because they're not obtainable right now. But... They are also, when they are obtainable, they're incredibly easy. They are incredibly easy. So for that, I'm going to put them in decent work to obtain with Mal Metal being above Meltan because 400 candies is rough. But I would say it's more common than the others. It's a waiting game. I mean, you know, Meltan's a once a year and then once everyone has them, it's not hard to get in a trade. Kind of like Zer Aura. You can detect if it's legit because it'll have the ghost stamp. Probably not very hard to get. Um, getting them in a trade, you could probably just ask. Yeah, it's there's probably a lot of people who have multiple... So I'm going to put them at the bottom of decent work because they're not really hard to obtain by any means. They're just kind of there. They exist. Um, wait you, a little bit of a wait and you will get them. And then that leads us to our final mythical here. Zarud. Zarud is shiny locked. You can't get it. So this is the mythical tier list, guys. Um, I hope this is informational for you guys. So here's every shiny lock. So if you want me to give these away, I can't right now. It is unfortunate. If you want me to do anything with the shiny legendaries, if you want me to do a shiny legendary rarity, if you want me to do a um, just my tier list of favorites, because obviously this list would be a lot different. Uh, man, if it would not be at the top. So let me know your guys' thoughts. This is just kind of my opinions on rarity, but of course you may think, you know, Genesex much more rare, Muse much less rare. You may think Darkrai is more or less rare. You know, let me know your guys' thoughts, completely opinion. You know, let me know what you think. Um, just be respectful, of course, to me and others. Um, your boy Jim is going to be signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I hope it was knowledgeable for you guys because it's definitely, it's definitely something important to know. Um, you know, check out links in the description, check out my Discord, Twitter, all that fun stuff. I do have a playlist. It's just a fun little tierless playlist where I put informational trivia, things like that. And it's very fun. So your boy Jim signing out. I hope everyone has an awesome day.